everybody and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. This is Virtual Farmer Ken Bob and I'm glad you joined me today as we continue our journey with VFK Freight. start kicking out that uh, GPS monitor down here. I mean, it's got a GPS on the tractor cab itself. But I like having that monitor up there because I can basically go to uh, transparent, I think they call it. But I like having it there because uh, I like seeing all the information. I like seeing all the information at one glance. But there are ways to see the information, like my speed. Uh, speed. I've got a analog speed display, and I've got the digital speed display, which is one of the reasons why I like this truck. I mean, I like Kenworth. Always has been one of my favorite trucks ever since BJ the Bear came out. So <laughs> that kind of dates me, I'm sure. But uh, of course, my gray beard or gray whatever this is called probably dates me as well. But I like seeing uh, that information, like the the engine brake whenever it's on, and I've got the little light there that tells me. When the cruise control is set, I've got a, the speed shows up, so I just like that. That's the kind of stuff I like, and I always like that in the trucks I actually drove in real life, too. The ones that uh, I didn't see all that, didn't care for. And then, of course, on this, whenever I set my brights on, it gives me that little blue indicator. Some of the trucks, when you get that information, it's uh, where your steering wheel blocks it. I never could understand why they would put that stuff. It's kind of important to know if your brights are on. I mean, 
I wish there was an indicator that told me what uh, what level my jake brakes were set. But I don't even see if there's a. I, don't, I can't even see a control stick that tells you. Usually, uh, there's some trucks on this game that uh, if you adjust the jake brake settings, it'll show uh, the the knob moving. And for anybody that's interested, I am using everything in game. I do not have any mods on this game right now. I tried to download a mod. There's another YouTuber out there that does uh, uh, American Truck Simulator. And they just got a cab over, Kenworth cab over. And I thought, well, I'd kind of like to find that. And they had a link to the mod. But I don't know how to install them yet. <laughs> I am so green at this. Uh, I mean, I've had the game now for a while, but I've never really uh, played it hardcore or anything like that yet. So I'm just now kind of getting into doing that more on a regular basis. And so I've still got to learn that stuff. He just made us another three thousand dollars. Thank you, Paul. I think he makes more money per run than I do. I mean, I make a lot of money for the company, but I don't get a lot of it myself. But that's not what I'm interested in. I'm interested in growing the company, not not growing my pocketbook. Wow. Another example there of you can't take your eyes off this game for half a second. Go straight. I don't know if that's because of the steering wheel that has the auto uh, auto centering on it. It's probably that that's causing me to have problems controlling this thing. I'd like to get a good racing steering wheel with a gas pedal, brake, and a clutch on it and then get me a gear shifter mod, not mod, but stand. But I'm not uh, hardcore enough into it yet to start going and throwing a bunch of money that I don't have into it. So maybe along the way if, uh, you know, if our fortunes turn a little better for us here, we might try to go and uh, do that. Because I know a lot of guys that make these videos like this, they kind of show, uh, like I'm showing my uh, face for reaction purposes. Uh, some guys like to show their control panels and all that so people can watch the shifting movements and all that. But I don't have any shifting movements. Nothing interesting to see here in regards to that. I'm using an automatic. Hope to go to using a shifter, but again, that's something we'll have to do down the road. Go straight. She so says we have 11 hours and 45 minutes, and our sleep time is four hours. We gotta get to a rest stop within that amount of time. This one has to be there by Sunday at 21.39. Oh wow, we're, our estimated time of arrival is Sunday at 8. So you add 10, hour, or, yeah, 10 hours for a rest break to that, that'd be 1800. So we got plenty of time to uh, get in a stop and not even really feel rushed at it.
this stop is just a little bit too soon. I'd rather get on down the road a little further. I was always like that in real life too. I like to stop closer to my destination. And if I've got four hours of driving time, I've still got four hours to look for another place to stop. I'd rather just keep on going. Well, folks, that's about as far as we're going to make it today. But please come back and join me again as we continue our trip and our journey uh, with VFK Freight and trying to build our company. Until next time, have a great day and stay safe out there.